How to control an adrenaline rush. An adrenaline rush is when your adrenal glands pump an excess amount of adrenaline into your body in response to high amounts of stress or anxiety. You may experience a wide range of symptoms that are similar to panic attacks including racing pulse or pounding heart, increased respiration, or dizziness. 1. Although adrenaline rushes can be uncomfortable and scary, they are not dangerous. 2. By employing relaxation techniques or making lifestyle changes, you may be able to decrease the frequency and intensity of adrenaline rushes. 3. Practicing relaxation techniques. Employ deep breathing. Deep breathing exercises, which is also called pranayama, can naturally help dissolve tension and help you relax. Deep breathing can help your body distribute oxygen to your body, which can reduce heart rate and normalize your pulse. It will also help relax tense muscles that may be exacerbating the adrenaline rush. 5. Inhale and exhale completely and in a balanced manner through your nose. For example, you would inhale for a count of 4, hold for 2, counts, and then exhale completely to a count of 4. You can vary the counts according to your abilities. 6. To get the most from deep breathing, sit upright, with your shoulders back, feet flat on the ground, and avoid slouching. Put your hands on your belly and practice breathing slowly making the stomach move against the hands. When you exhale, tighten your stomach muscles and breathe out through pursed lips. Consciously feel the diaphragm move up and down as you breathe. Count to 10, or 20. When you are feeling stressed, anxious or having an adrenaline rush, remove yourself from the situation and count to 10. Counting can help your mind to focus on something other than situation. When you focus on something other than the stressful situation, your body may stop producing adrenaline. If necessary, count to 20 and repeat the procedure as often as you need to. 8. Practice progressive muscle relaxation. If you notice stress or anxiety triggering a rush of adrenaline, practice relaxing your whole body to bring yourself down. Lie on the ground or sit down and begin clenching and relaxing each muscle in your body. Tighten and contract each muscle in your body for 5 seconds starting at your feet. Then let the muscles slowly ease into deep relaxation. After 10 seconds, tighten your leg muscles for another 5 seconds and then let them relax. 10. Repeat this succession until to finish with your head. 11. Move on to the muscles in your legs. Do the same process for each muscle group, making your way slowly up your body towards your head. Cultivate positive thoughts. Negativity can exacerbate stress, tension, and anxiety, and may make adrenaline rushes more acute. Framing is a behavioral technique that can shape the ways in which you handle specific situations by rendering them positive scenario. 14. For example, you may find yourself dealing with an angry customer at your job. Imagine that the best possible outcome is making the customer happier by solving the problem. This can help you get through the situation in the most positive manner and may keep you from getting a panic attack. 15. Another way to use the process of visualizing a positive outcome is by imaging a very peaceful scene, such as a field of flowers, and placing yourself in the scene. You can also try practicing mindfulness. This is the process of recognizing your thinking and how it makes you feel in that moment, without judgment. 16. Find humor and positive in any situation. Most difficult situations can have some positive and humorous moments. Although they may not be immediately clear to you, being able to recognize and laugh at them can help you to relax and avoid adrenaline rushes. Some studies have demonstrated that positivity can contribute significantly to happiness. 18. For example, if you fall and cut your elbow, don't focus on the cut or a tear in your clothing. Instead, laugh at your clumsiness or something else humorous that happened in the situation. 